Behind the scenes in Survivor has evolved, as you might expect it would have. In season one, the camera crew, the sound folk, the folks behind the scenes, the art department, the challenge guys, <clears throat> they suffered. <laughs> they had, I remember a Malaysian couple was cooking for them, cooking fish heads and stuff like that. So they were not uh, happy with their accommodation, which was tents in the pouring rain often, their food, etc. Regardless, most of the time they were elsewhere. They were not part of our um, camps. They were somewhere else brought in by boat, separate island, on the other end of this island, wherever, away from us. As the seasons have rolled on, and the money behind this show has become something you couldn't imagine. To say astronomical is an understatement. There is so much profit in such a successful show, you'd be baffled at the ways in which uh, these people have profited. It is not shared with um, the participants. And in fact, participants' ability to profit from the show are protected in ways that are calculatedly unkind, unnecessarily stingy. And it's typical, I think, of the disparity between CEOs and the folks doing the work in most companies. That doesn't make it any more okay in my book. The behind the scenes have become something more than comfortable. <laughs> We've gone from in season one where these folks were in the beginnings of a project, excited to see where it was going to go. They were willing to put up with all kinds of um, stresses. But the behind the scenes in these seasons of Survivor has improved in comfort, uh, I would say to the point of luxury <laughs> at this point. The profits have enabled that to happen. So most of the folks, including Probst, uh, behind the scenes are not on the island we are filming, usually. If the island's big enough, they're somewhere away, but, but typically they're somewhere else. <clears throat> and they're in now... Uh, luxurious accommodations. There's no suffering. They are pampered, uh, fed, relaxed. There are uh, air-conditioned accommodations to do in which to do the editing, in which to review the dailies, um, and to think about how the game is unfolding, and for Jeff to do his extensive homework. Jeff is uh, an incredible host, as you see, and he's incredibly good at his job. He, he's planned, he's thoughtful, he's um, experienced in a way that enables him to react appropriately regardless of what unfolds. And I give him all the credit in the world for that. I, I think he's, he's really, really good at that. Why he requires um, or, has, or has reacted to having gained the power he does in the ways that he has no respect for and belittles the participants. I can only attribute that to his having seen that be the norm from Les Moonves or Mark Burnett. And again, just sad. No reason for it to have been the case then. No reason for Propes to continue it. But I don't want you to think that Propes is in any way challenged or suffering uh, during his experience of filming the show. These scenes when he is wandering into the water and his shorts get wet and there's a few droplets of rain. And so, you know, he appears as if he's in the elements with us. Moments later, folks have taken his wet clothes. They've shifted them all. He's way, he's, you know, having his steak dinner or whatever the hell he eats wherever he eats it. He does not and never has uh, endured anything we participants have endured. 
Do I think he should? No, I'm not suggesting that there's anything wrong with that. More power to him. What I'm suggesting is that his experience is unlike the experience of any of the participants. He has the, the exposure to our experience and in ways watches us endure and react and has done that for a sufficient number of years to have an idea of what Survivor is about and the challenges we face. But I'll say it again and I'll uh, uh, say it confidently, he still doesn't get the game, understand it, the way he so confidently thinks he does. And his ego prevents him from doing that. He's so certain, I think, that his understanding of what he's observed is so accurate, it's unnecessary for him to take into account what we viewers express, what we participants know is happening. And were he a better executive producer, he would be doing that. And the game would be better for it. He would be including our perspective. He would be tempering the whole politically correct kind of trying to um, scapegoat me or others uh, rather than just explaining in a straightforward way how things unfold during a season and how things have changed the ways they've unfolded over time in different seasons. His handling of season 39, inexcusably reprehensible. His removal of me from season 40 can never be corrected. Probst isn't good as he currently is interacting for the show. That's my argument. It's my opinion. I believe many others hold that opinion. There's nothing I would enjoy more than engaging with him were he to drop the ridiculous, phony ego and to explore the reasons behind why the show isn't as good as it could be. But that'll never happen, I don't believe. Uh, very, very unlikely it would. I don't think he has any interest in what I have to say or any belief that my contribution is of any value. And I've explained why numbers of times. But behind the scenes, <laughs> he's comfortable, trust me, as are the rest of the staff now. The game is incredibly profitable and that profit, some of it, enables the show to continue to bring quality staff to produce it in ways that you end up with the gorgeous footage that you see and the wonderfully edited program that is presented to you as episode after episode in season after season. You know, 80% of you who are listening to these videos have not subscribed to my channel. Please subscribe. Just hit the subscription button and hit the notification button and you'll be informed when I have another video up for you to listen to. After you've subscribed, comment. Comment positively. Comment negatively. No holds barred. Just say what you're thinking. That's what will make our exchange even more valuable. As I'm able, I'll create new videos responsive to that commentary. So like away or dislike on that rare occasion you may feel the need to do so. <laughs> but either way, thank you.